Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, if you'd like to hire us to help you out, go to willyhow.com, click the hire us button or the contact us link, fill that information out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, our clearly marked affiliate links are down below along with a link to our Patreon. So thank you very much. Um, what we're talking about in this video today, Ubiquity released two general availability, Unify OS for the Dream Machines. So that's going to be your standard UDM and your UDM Pro version 1.12.22. So I've got the page pulled up, but real quick, let's go over. We'll see that my UDM base is quite outdated. <clears throat> And it's because I've had other machines that I've swapped this out for. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to update to that 1.12.22 because it is available. Now, everybody will have this available um, in the next few days. It's a rolling release. You can see that my network is way out of date, too. It has a vulnerable version on it. This hasn't been plugged in since then. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to say upgrade. And we are going to let it do its thing. It says it's going to take about five minutes. Um, but let's take a look at this. So obviously this is for the UDM, the UDM Pro, and the bundled applications uh, that come with it. Unify Network 7.1.66, Unify Protect 1.21.6, Unify Talk 1.15.3, and Unify Access 1.4.2. Now, on my standard UDM, I'm only going to get the option for UID, which is still, you know, a like a beta program, uh, and network. Now, on my Pro, my Pro is already uh, updated to this. In fact, I'm on an EA with my Pro, so we're not even going to look at that at the moment. But uh, 7.1.66 was released. Let's see when it was released. About 15 days ago. And so if you go, you'll see there's 10, 10 plus pages. There's 190 comments um, about everything <laughs> that's going on with the 7.1.66. So uh, they did some improved application stability when using mobile apps. And there's a known issue. The image for the USG Pro 4 in the dashboard is mixing, <laughs> missing. It will be fixed in 7.2. So we know we've got a 7.2 controller coming, right? But let's take a look at what else we've got going here. So uh, they've added support for jumbo frames now, added an in informational prefix to firewall logging, added support for backing up the console or restoring backups when remote access is disabled. So that's really nice. Added a floor plan feature to the dashboard, add support for, w, uh, for WAN or LAN remapping on the UDM Pro ports eight through 11. People are gonna love that. Uh, disabling weak ciphers for L2TP VPN, added support for IGMP snooping on the UDM, UDM Pro switch ports. I know people were looking for that. Add, a su add support file download progress indicator, okay. Uh, redesign Unify OS settings, so that must be like the settings screen. We'll take a look at that here um, shortly. Uh, wireless feature parity fix with UAP 6.0.14. Always upload cloud backup before performing a, a firmware update <clears throat> if enabled. So before they update the firmware, they'll take a backup and that's beautiful that it does that automatically. Allow setting SFP speed during setup. That is obviously for the UDM Pro. Allow disabling remote or uh, console remote access only when connected locally. So uh, you can get rid of having to be connected to the Ubiquity Cloud. Auto update time zone and IP changes, which is based on Geo IP. Let's see what else. There's a lot of things here. Improve application state representation, improve the user interface, and then unify OS settings when remote access is disabled, improve internet connectivity check, check, improve compatibility for PPPOE ISP providers for IP version six, improve mobile experience and unify OS settings. That's cool. Improve push. I mean, they have fixed so many things. Let's see. Improve cloud ba uh, cloud config backup feature. Uh, what else? 
restore notification settings when restoring from backup. So apparently you didn't get the notification settings, but you do now. Reduce the delay in DHCP server responses. Uh, minor LCM fixes and improvements. Oh, here's another one. Require to agree to the terms of service to enable SSH. That is a good move. Uh, remove weak cipher, cipher support from Wi-Fi man. Uh, remove TLS1 and TLS1.1 support for guest portals. That's right, you should be on 1.2 or 1.3. Upgrade open SSL to 1.1.1N. They upgraded BusyBox, upgraded Suricata, updated the DPI database. So lots of updates. And look at this list of bug fixes too. Let's see if there's anything. Um, I don't see, oh, fix issue that content filtering does not work for wired client with guest portal enabled. That That's kind of a bug. Um, yeah, so you can go through here and check this out. And, you know, you can you can go in and SSH in and update it, or you can let it do the update itself. So you can see that this is flashing white, which means that uh, it is currently in the process of upgrading. So what we're going to do real quick is we are going to... Uh, We are not going to go away and come right back. <laughs> we are going to come back over here and we're going to see. Uh, let's go back to the portal. It says it's still updating. Let me refresh this, see what happens. Okay, still updating. So we will uh, be right back as soon as this is done updating. All right, so it looks like the update may be done. It looks like network is still getting ready. So we'll have to give it a minute, but let's see if we go into like settings. Let's see if this, yep, yep, this screen does look totally different. Unify OS is up to date. Network has now been upgraded to 7.1.66. I'm going to migrate all those settings, which is probably what's happening now. Uh, UID is not installed. We can't install that. You'll notice for the Unify Dream Machine standard that that is the uh, right now that is the apps that you can install uh, my unify OS release channel is official um, and so let's open the network application okay so it looks like we've got uh, tons of, of traffic through this thing so the uh, next thing that I want to look at is aha so look we do have the teleport and uh vpn and my console says that it's offline but it's really not it's right here Let's see what happened hmm that's kind of suspect there it goes all right must have been an internet glitch so we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to teleport and VPN. And you can see that teleport, and I didn't touch this until right now, but you can see teleport is enabled and then we can generate a new link. So I'm going to do a video uh, just on the teleport VPN. That'll be the next video. But if you're running a UDM standard or you're running a UDM pro, I can't show you the pro cause it's in the rack. Make sure, that you get uh, a backup of your system and make sure you get this upgraded. So um, that's just a little bit. I was really excited because uh, the teleport VPN, I think that was one of, the, one of the, the main things on these latest releases that I was really excited about. And uh, you can see it's going to be able to connect to Mac OS, iOS, and Android. Rumors that it's coming for Windows. So what do you want to see in this latest update? Let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and uh, TikTok. Those links are down below along with our uh, link to go to my consulting site where you can hire us and all of our affiliate links. So once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.